guys, Jing here. Hi, Al here. Uh, this is my best friend, Alison from L Ellie what five five nine zero. Yeah. Okay, go check out her channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But for today, she is my guest. Yes. My baby. Yes. And I will be doing her nails. So if you follow my Facebook. I've got promotion on mirror chrome nails, and what I'm gonna do for her today is rainbow chrome nails. So let's get started. Yes. I've already removed her previous gel and buffed her nails and prepared them for the manicure. So let's get painting. I'm using Essence Ultra Hard Nail Hardener as she's got quite brittle nails, so it really helps, especially when she's doing gel. Once the essence has dried, I'm using Can Eyes Gel Base Coat to put the foundation for the chrome manicure. Once we're finished painting, then we cure. We will be using orange, dark pink, dark blue, dark purple, and mint for this following manicure. I've listed down all the brands and the colors of the polishes down in the description box below. The painting parts of the video are fast forwarded, they are not in real time so please do not gauge how long I take to paint this manicure by the video. <laughs> The reason why her hands are completely flat on the table is because she says she's more comfortable that way. So I'm just gonna let her do it and I'll just paint around her fingers that way. And again, once we finish painting, we're going to put it to cure. Once cured, remember to remove the tacky surface of the top. Next, I will be using Can Eyes Non Wipe Top Gel. You need a non wipe gel for this particular type of nail art. And again, once we're done, we'll put it to cure. These are her nails once cured and top gelled. 
We are now ready to use the silver chrome powder which I got from Bond Pretty Store. Now all you have to do is rub the silver chrome pigments into the top gel. I'm using the sponge that comes with the chrome set but you can use a normal makeup sponge or you can get one of the eyeshadow sponges and just use it to rub it in. Soon after that, remember to brush off any excess powder along the nails. Finally, we're gonna go at it with another non-wipe top gel. This is very important as it seals in all the chrome pigments onto your gel and it will actually look like chrome nails. What you don't want to do is not use a top gel or a normal top coat because it will not seal in the chrome pigments and the more you wash your hands and the more you rub at your chrome, it's gonna come off and it's gonna leave you with patchy chrome nails and you don't want that because it looks like this. And we have arrived at our final curing. Curing. So these are her nails once washed and cured. Why we call this rainbow chrome is that when you use silver chrome pigments on normal colors, especially darker ones, they tend to become a different color of chrome compared to the silver. So as you can see here, you've got green and you've got blue, purple and orange chrome. Hi guys, so we're done with the nails. Look at them, so pretty. So pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna get you get, take another photo in the sun. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. You're welcome. Also, um, since she's gonna be in my video, I'm also appearing in her video. On we are gonna be doing top 10 travel tips, and also we're gonna do okay. We are jumping on the bandwagon way too late, but we're gonna do the best friend tag. So, yeah. watch out for the videos and she will leave the links in the description box below. Yeah, definitely. So, do support, subscribe for more tutorials and such like that. Okay, and for her and her lifestyle tips and her beauty tutorials and her beauty. What was it? The, the, the haul videos. Oh, yeah, the haul videos. Yes, I do a lot of haul videos. And disclaimer. I am not sponsored by the haul videos that I do. Neither am I. Yep. Okay. Right. See you. Bye. Bye guys.